The Weddell Sea forms part of the Southern Ocean and marks the northernmost part of mainland Antarctica. It is bordered to the east by Coates Land and the west by the Antarctic Peninsula. It covers an area of approximately 2,800,000 square kilometres. Named after the Scottish sailor James Weddell, it has long been an area of scientific interest. The average surface temperatures are usually below freezing. This means that the sea is heavily packed with ice. However, summer melting season during the months of January and February provides the opportunity for its distinct ecosystem to thrive and the potential for exploration beneath the ice. The Weddell Sea's ice shelves are large floating tongues of ice that extend seaward from the glaciers and ice sheets that are located on Antarctica's mainland. Recently, the ice shelves have been collapsing at an unprecedented rate. The Larsen Ice Sheet has experienced three major breakups Larsen A in 1995, Larsen B in 2002, and Larsen C in 2017. During the last 25 years, it's estimated that overall the Antarctic ice sheet has lost an average of 20 gigatons per year. That's the equivalent of a billion small cars. This is contributing to an average of 4.4 millimetres per decade to sea level rise. The breaking up of the Larsen Sea ice shelf has exposed a previously inaccessible route and is allowing new research in the Weddell Sea. This provides an opportunity to record species new to science and to better understand the factors that influence how the ice shelf is changing. Over 100 years ago, Sir Ernest Shackleton and his team began the Imperial Transantarctic Expedition that helped put the Weddell Sea on the world map. Setting sail on their ship Endurance on August 8, 1914, Antarctica was firmly in their sights. However, they encountered heavy pack ice on the 18th of January 1915 and their ship became stuck. It succumbed to the pressure and was crushed by the ice. On the 21st of November 1915, the crew abandoned efforts and the ship sank. In 2019, the Weddell Sea Expedition will undertake new scientific research in the Weddell Sea and hopes to locate the wreck of the Endurance. This will be using a combination of an icebreaker, the SA Aguilas II, satellite imagery, drones, sediment corers, autonomous underwater vehicles and remotely operated underwater vehicles, which can survey the seabed and collect scans and images of what lies beneath the ice. You can find out more about this expedition by visiting weddellseaexpedition.org for accompanying learning resources you can visit rgs.org forward slash WSE.